Hey everybody, just a quick video for you today. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know I've been doing a lot of work on the Prototype 445 Minneapolis Million Tractor. Uh, we got X231's engine back there. Transmission housing is on the big cart over there. Been doing a lot of work on the rear end casting lately. But I want to do just a quick walk around of the front steering bolster. Um, this is another piece that's going to need a lot of help. It's a casting I would really like to use because it also has a Prototype 10X casting number on it. Looks like 5269. Um, laid out much like a production 445 piece would have been. It has the power steering unit in the front cylinder. Um, it's cut out here for the front crank pulley. This one's kind of unique in the fact that they have a little V notch cut into it where the fan belt would go, whereas a production one just has a bump out right here. Very similar power steering unit, bolts in at the same location. But we're going to have to do some. Uh, Rather extensive repairs to this casting too, because the end piece here that holds this plug in for the power steering piston has cracked out around the snap ring groove that's meant to hold this plug in place. I'm not really sure how we're gonna fix this yet, but we're kinda of looking ahead to the future to try and get this resolved or get some kind of a plan in place as to how exactly we're gonna correct this, uh, this breakage we have going on here. So. I guess at this point I just kind of wanted to uh, uh, document the type of damage that's, uh, that this piece has incurred right here. And also I'll just throw it out there, if anybody has any ideas, suggestions, or possible routes we could take to uh, try and correct this sort of breakage right here, and hopefully again retain this end cap so that the power steering system might work again, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear it. Um, just wanted to kind of let you guys know what was going on with this piece. You know, we got to think about getting this repaired right now so that when we get ready to start working on it, it doesn't uh, hold our progress up if we end up having to send it out or having it fixed for some kind of repairs to have it fixed somehow. So that's about it for this video. Like I said, if you got any ideas, any suggestions, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Thanks guys for watching. See you again.